Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be installing the Velocitech wing riser kit on the Focus ST. So there's some spacers that go, you gotta detach this, the wing, and it raises the wing up just a tiny bit, gives it a little bit of flare, gives it a bit more of a sporty look. All right, so I'm gonna go unpackage the Velocitech wing riser kit, and then we'll get to the install. Here's all the hardware, some screws, bolts, and washers. Here are the pieces. I went with uh, orange, obviously, because they've changed everything to orange recently. They all say Velocitech on them. Pretty cool. So for this install, we need a flathead screwdriver. We need to pop something off in the trunk. A T20 Torx bit and an 8mm socket. All right, let's go get started. So the first thing to do is to remove these two. So this is the T20 Torx bit. We need to remove this uh, third backlight. All right, so it's pulling this a bit. So there's two things to unhook here. We have this clip right here, and then we have this to unclip. All right, so I got this off. Just removed that piece, this piece. So after you do that, open this up. We need to remove this piece. So that's why I have the flathead screwdriver to pop that off. So I don't know if I'm able to do this with one hand. Uh, yeah, let me put the camera down and pop it off. All right, so it's super easy. I just wedged it in between to get it to pop off. Okay, so now we have to remove so windy. So now we have to remove a T20 torque bit, T20 torque bit, and it's the same for the other side. And then eight millimeter, eight millimeter, eight millimeter, and remove that, and then we can remove the wing off the car. All right, now let's try and remove the wing off. So this car looks extremely ugly without that on there. It's pretty crazy. Um, I'm also gonna use this time to clean this off. Very dirty. Man. All right. All right, so that's all cleaned up. It is windy today and fucking cold. 
I'm gonna go put all this all these spacers on the wing. I'm gonna go do it inside. Okay, so I'm inside now. Not windy. So the next thing to do is to pull off all these white clips. Okay, that went flying. Uh, you just slide them out. This one, I don't know where it went. It probably fell off when I took the wing off. Then we have this one. So you just, just slide it like that. Then we have this one. One second. You slide it out, and then we have the last one over here. Just slide it out. Okay. We got all those. I don't know where that other piece went. Whatever. Okay, so after you've slid all these clips out, now it's time to ins be installing the spacers. So for this kit, so this is number one. Two number twos, these are, what are these? Number fours, two number fours, two number threes. And then we have all the, the hardware. So for the spacers, we don't need any washers. So for the middle three, we install them using the flathead that they gave us. It's the M6 18 millimeter flathead bolt. So it just goes on just like that and tighten it down with an Allen wrench, but don't tighten it down too much. So you can still wiggle it around to line everything up when we put it back on the car. So I'm going to do this center one and then this one and this one. All three of these are in there and we got to move on to the sides all right next I'm doing these upper left ones so those are labeled number fours for Velocitech and the bottom ones are number three so number four number four number three number three but I'm gonna do number four so these use the Philip head screws so I have it in there already So we have all the pieces on. Now we gotta use this stuff and we need to go, excuse me, plug in the holes on the actual car. Let me go do that. Okay, so we're gonna plug up the holes now. So we have this uh, oval hole right here, and then we have this circle hole right here. And then the very center, we have another oval hole circle and then oval so we're gonna put the plugs in those five points all right so I'm gonna be throwing in a circle one right here if you can see there it is okay just put it in there and then just snap it in there so that's in grab an oval one so the oval one goes this way sideways there it goes. Oh, Jesus. I think I got it in there all the way. Yeah. All right, so got all five of them in. All right. Okay, so we need to put this on the antenna. So when you open the hatch, the hatch does not hit the antenna. So this just slides over really easy. 
right now it's kind of hard to see, but. So it just slides over, just make sure you uh, press it all the way down to the bottom, and that's it. So that's on there. Okay, so now I need to position the wing, and so I can tighten these things down. looking something like that make sure these are both pulled through these holes and you need to open the hatch and try to tighten this stuff down all right so for the middle three we need the m6 25 millimeters with the wide washers so the these right here. All right, so let's try and put these on by myself. have them all in there so I'm still not going to tighten them down all the way just because the other ones I want to make sure still got to line these up all right if we can see up here the top one right here requires the m5 22 millimeter and the bottom one is the m5 I think 15 millimeter so don't get those So, we have everything in there, those three up there, and these last two. So I'm just going to take the Allen wrench and tighten it all down. All done. I will check back in the daytime so you guys can see what it looks like. All right guys, so here is what the Velocitech wing lift kit looks like during the day with all my orange spacers and orange plugs in there. Pretty awesome. If you step back a bit, you can still see all the spacers, which looks really cool. If you pop the trunk, get a pretty good look at it too. Here is it from the side. Definitely gives the wing more flare, which is pretty cool. Quite a bit of space in there. If you come up from this way, you can also see all the orange spacers. I really like that. So keep in mind that this kit from Velocitech was $90. So pretty pricey for just <laughs> some spacers. Um, I did watch a YouTube video where they did it, uh, did it themselves for about 15 or 20 dollars i will have that video linked down below the only downside i saw was all the spacers were a clear color and i really wanted this orange to match my mud flaps which they match perfectly but anyways yes i will have that video linked down below um i didn't want to go through the hassle of finding the correct paint and painting all these I don't know if it was a big deal or not, but I splurged anyway. Whatever, it's done, it's on the car. Really happy with it overall. Looks pretty awesome. All right, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.